Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Zula with another new video. As we have started CSI Safe 2016 tutorial series, and uh, already we have completed many video about it. I mean, we have uh, completed about slab, different types of slab, how to import slab from ETAPS to CSI Safe, and also how we'll design isolated foundation, how we'll design combined foundation, and here. Uh, in our previous two lecture I have just shown that how we'll draw and uh, define different types of materials on our staff or cantilever foundation so already uh, we have draw our model you know that if you if you're resting with us then you know that we have already started and uh, our that staff foundation design a staff or cantilever foundation design so here our model and uh, we have defined loads we have provided load we have um, given our soil support here also so if you're new here you can watch our previous video that link are given in description so first of all um, actually we have done everything here in our previous lecture so first of all I'll go for analysis okay so to go analysis simply you have to click here actually I have saved that file uh, in previous so you have to save that file okay now just here see that uh, it's showing a big displacement right here it's showing a big displacement of our foundation so it's giving the here is the maximum and minimum uh, value actually so we'll go for check that our that displacement is okay or not so I'll go XY plane so from here I'll just see here just see here it's uh, displacement uh, I mean it's deflection is 18 right it's it's this deflection is 18.97 mm and it's maximum is 8.97 mm and minimum is 3.0 mm uh, that means our uh, foundation is safe in displacement check okay or our uh, settlement check it's okay now sorry uh this is n this is not okay actually this is for only dead load now i'll go for here display then show deform shape so from here load combo and from here i will select or i will see our that foundation with combo one okay it's okay then apply now see here it's showing the maximum 18 okay 18.9 now I'll go for combo 2 apply now it's showing 36.15 mm actually that means our foundation is not okay in displacement okay our foundation will be okay when uh, that value is less than 25 millimeter but it's not okay now again I'll go for service lot service lot 1 apply it's showing 26 this is also not okay for service load and service load 2 apply this is also not okay but uh, if i show you our uh, that foundation okay for service load 2 and i'll go here if i go here apply here for our uh, ultimate load this foundation is okay for our ultimate load also so for every uh, load actually our uh, that foundation is okay I mean not that big foundation is okay but our that small foundation is not okay no now how will I mean what will do actually okay what will do and here you know that we have provided a beam here we have provided a beam here okay and here if I see that this foundation is not okay so we'll just simply increase it, increase its length okay increase its length will increase it sorry will increase our that uh, foundation size now I'll just close and before that I'll check for our soil reaction okay so from here I'll simply select for uh, combo 2 because we know that this is very critical then uh, actually it's okay then apply now see here here it's it's uh, showing us 1 2 2 I mean 100 122 kilonewton or kilopascal but here it's showing 
289 so that value must be less than 200 kilonewton cause our soil bearing capacity was 200 kilonewton right so actually i'll go for another combo this is combo one no, for that combo it's also not okay and that foundation is okay actually so for two that foundation is okay but this foundation is not okay so i'll click apply it's done so as uh, it's not okay now i'll go for change it okay i'll go for change for that foundation so i'll just click here for unlock our model so i'll just come here now i will increase our that model in every side okay so i'll just uh, increase 250 millimeter in every side first of all i will increase our foundation it y direction first of all then see what happened actually so for that we need draw uh, draw points okay and how will draw points uh, only in y direction so i'll give her 0 0.25 that means this is 0 0.25 meter means 0 0.25 meter means 250 mm so i'll just simply click here so here one point and here one point and i'll just simply give her the minus value okay and i'll click here here is here our one point and here are our point now i'll just reshape our that foundation so i'll close that and from here i'll click here reshape so from here i'll select it and simply i will press our left button of our mouse here to here and from that point to that point right will increase our size now i'll just simply click here okay and i'll go for again analysis and see what happened actually so here this is the data now i'll go for display and show different shape first of all i'll uh, see it then for live load this is combo one apply it's showing 11 then for combo two for ultimate test strength it's 21 just see here now it's actually okay so when we have increased our foundation size in that direction now it's okay 21.84 kilonewton sorry a millimeter this is and for another combo service slot one this is 16 and for our service slot uh, sorry uh, service slot two actually uh, for our service slot two it's not okay actually in that side it's okay but that side not okay it's showing us 30 it's showing us uh, 30 millimeter al almost so again we have to change that data but before that i will go for our soil property check okay the soil pressure then apply and see here it's 174 it's okay then for combo combo sorry that is for ultimate two and i'll see it's not okay also so our soil pressure as per our soil pressure that side is okay but that point is not okay for our ultimate ultimate combo okay so i'll close that i'll again unlock it okay and from here i'll increase our foundation in that direction in the in that time then see what happened so i'll just draw draw point so from here in x direction 0 0.25 right so from that point to that point and here minus for that point to that point so we have draw four point our four reference points so i'll come here reshape then click and i'll just 
move sorry control Z I'll just click then move here that point then again move that point again move in that point and also in that point so it's done then click here so we have uh, done it actually now again I'll go for analysis now I'll see it's okay or not so in our previous apps we have seen that for three display different for three combo it's okay but for our last combo I mean for our ultimate design combo that's not okay so I'll check it apply now it's okay okay now it's okay 20 this is 20 and for one it's 11 for and two it's 14 only and here it's 8 so now our foundation is okay for our settlement I mean our deflection check now I will go for our soil pressure check okay so from here it's we have to click soil pressure and first of all I'll go for our combo 1 then apply I'll see it's very little for combo 1 then for combo 2 I mean for normal it's also sorry apply this is also 1 on 7 then uh, for combo 1 of ultimate then it's 90 only and here I'll click so for combo so it's okay actually it's showing the maximum is 162 162 for ultimate 2 so actually now our foundation is okay for deflection check or uh, soil bearing capacity check okay I mean soil pressure check and also for our uh, settlement or deflection check our foundation is okay now we'll go for a final check we'll go for a final check this is very very important we know that as a civil engineer this is punching shear check okay so for that I'll just come here display show punching shear design right so click here uh, sorry it's showing not calculated actually uh, this is a problem when we have uh, defined our that slab not perfectly I mean for our uh, that twist tip if we do not uh, provide perfectly then it will show you like that so I'll just simply click here and I'll just first of all I'll right click on it and see this is our footing strip it's okay so I'll close and for that side it's footing strip it's also okay so for that it's column stiff it's also okay and for that it's column stiff it's also okay okay now I'll go here define then I'll go here our slab properties now I'll just check that our column stiff modify that is column stiff 200 250 mm uh, it's done and for our footing stiff it's footing 250 this is footing it's also done it's stiff it's done so I'll just cancel that now I will just take something for our assigning load okay I'll just I will just click here okay I'll just click here for unlock now I'll just right click and I'll see the loads on it so actually oh uh, maybe we have done a mistake here it's not showing any load here actually load dimension it's three zero three zero seventeen seventy five twenty nine everything every load are showing here it's okay also and for that side load it's 200 and 200 it's also okay so 
or the design process is okay now again I'll go for design and run analysis and here I'll go for punching shirt check actually it's not giving us any punching shirt check because uh, maybe uh, this is for as we are we have providing here a beam okay as we are providing a beam here from that point to that point that's why uh, it's not giving us any punching shear value because uh, uh, they have no failure on punching for it so in our next video i'll just go for our design process for it so thank you thank you very much as well stay connected till next video and if you think that that is helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon